Now, the teams in Highway 1 are just finishing up their prototypes, but it's just the beginning of their journey as hardware companies. They're going to have to actually tool. They're going to have to make their products, and they're going to have to ship them around the world. PCH does that for companies every day. They touch about 10 million SKUs per day, $10 billion worth of product each year. And startups don't normally have opportunity to work with companies like PCH, but through our accelerator program, we make that possible. Here to talk a little bit about that, or show you in this video, is Emily Brooke of Blaze. <coughs> I'd argue that the hardest part of this whole adventure is not getting yourself a, a prototype that you can crowdfund, but getting that prototype to a mass manufacturable consumer offering. We wanted to create something that was stunning really as a product, the best bike light we could with this additional function. For our supply chain, we've partnered with PCH and it's been the most incredible experience. I was meeting teams of people on a daily basis that I'd never met before who were working on my product and know it better than I do. When we first started talking to Emily and Matt, they had a great design, but they still faced some significant challenges. We've ended up with something very proud of, but that's been a long process of a sort of push and pull between technology on the one hand, manufacturability on the other, and the desirability of the product. Normally, you would compromise more in the design process. That hasn't been what we've done with Blaze. It's been focusing on the very best we can do with the manufacturing that's available and the components we put into the product. I actually think it's a really exciting time for hardware startups at the minute. For the first time, you're beginning to see individuals and really small companies getting product to many, many consumers. How we ever thought in the first place that we could do this ourselves is a joke because it's, it's, there's so many moving parts and I'm incredibly grateful for the help on the ground. Now, please welcome out Emily Brooke. Hi, um, my name's Emily, and I have a company called Blaze. Our launch product is the Laser Light, a radical innovation allowing a cyclist to be seen when they're otherwise invisible. Cycling is booming. In SF, it's increased 96% in the last seven years. In London, over half a million journeys are made by bike every day. But it's dangerous. Last year, over 39,000 cyclists were killed or injured in America, with 17 fatalities in the Bay Area alone. The most common cause of fatality is the blind spot incident, or vehicles turning across an unseen bike. This is the precise problem my product tackles. The laser light is a front-facing white light required worldwide by law, but it also has a laser. And it projects the symbol of a bike just in front of you onto the road. It allows you to be seen when you're otherwise invisible and prevents the driver ahead turning across your path. Its patented design combines leading laser technology, Cree LEDs giving over 300 lumen, and the latest LiPo cells that give 13 hour lifespan. Its USB charge and its diamond cut casings are completely sealed and fully waterproof. It really is the ultimate bike light. But not only that, it could potentially save your life. Two and a half years ago, I was a student. Here today, I have a company, I have a bike brand, and a following of, of fans and an engaged community. We've accepted investment from some exciting people, including Index Ventures and the Branson family, as in Virgin. We've also secured distribution by the UK's biggest bike retailer, Evan Cycles. I have a bike mad team based in East London. And I also have a team of over 10 people on the ground in China. Our product is being manufactured right now. It's shipping direct to our customers around the world this very minute. In fact, I just spoke to Dan, who's in charge of fulfillment. And before I came on stage, our first light was delivered this morning. <laughs> Thank you.
it's, it's pretty incredible. Um, and also, in fact, I've spent more hours in an aeroplane this month than Liam Casey. <laughs> but actually, part of that's not true. This part. My team on the ground in China aren't actually my team. Although it's bloody easy to forget because they certainly feel like part of Blaze. I love being in China, I love being with this team, and I love seeing it all happen. You, you honestly have to see it to believe it. We all know the barriers to a hardware startup. Working capital demand for to fund your first production. Finding suppliers that are willing to work with small companies that don't cost the earth. And the extensive engineering expertise that it requires. This past six months has been a complete roller coaster, the steepest learning curve. But it's also been absolutely incredible. I'm incredibly grateful for this team on the ground. It's been incredibly hard, but in six months we're shipping product from start to, to now shipping. It means that I've got to this point having raised an absolute minimum amount of capital. The working capital support the PCH offer, plus that I've kept my team incredibly lean, means that every dollar I do raise goes on things like marketing my brand, expanding the, the roadmap, either by growing my core team or by looking at other exciting startups in this space for possible acquisition. Working with PCH has been really incredible, not just that they're dedicated to working with small companies, but also to learn from them and to shift internal mindset to support them. PCH only win if I win, and if I glow the urban cycling brand to take over the world that I dream of. But right now, I feel like I'm in the very best position to make that happen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emily.